So Ember has realized that it is possible to influence people, and she wants to continue experimenting with the way she can do that. So now she wants us to go and find a convenience store that's got a pretty bad ranking and see if she changes the ranking to be fantastic, if that'll influence people's decisions to go shop there. So we're going to take this last stop convenience store that's on Eddy Street, and we're going to change its rating from a one star rating here to a five star rating. So I have two execution agents that are going to help us do that. Uh, execution Agent A is the one that's actually going to be going into the network and finding the review that's stored and editing it, while B is going to be giving instructions to A telling it where to go. So the way that this works, this whole like block here, uh, and you can see there's a little compass here. It's basically saying if I'm in this region here and I want to go east, you link 801 to go east. Or if I want to go north, you link 800 to go north. Uh, west would be 803, south 802s, and so forth. So this compass rose is what's telling you how to maneuver the network. Thankfully, uh, we're given explicit instructions on how we're going to, f or where to find the review we want. And because there's gonna be no weird movements in here, XB, like the movement here is we're gonna go to the right, we're gonna go east as many times as necessary, and then we're either gonna go north or south as many times as necessary. Uh, there's no need to go west at any point for this movement. So here's what's gonna happen. Uh, XB is gonna pick up the instructions and XA is going to enter the network. XB is then going to tell XA, this is how many times you need to move east. So he's gonna send, you need to move east once. Execution Agent A is going to first make sure uh, that it's not zero because it is possible that we need to move east zero times to get anything that's in this uh, this column here. So if we, we copied the one movement we needed to make into the T register, we're using our T loop tricking trick here. So we're just saying, oh, if we don't need to move east, we can skip to figuring out how many north or south we need to go. Otherwise, if we do need to move east, which we do because T is not zero here, we're going to link A to one, subtract one from T, and then if we need to move again, we'll jump back up to east. Easy enough. Uh, meanwhile, XB has gotten a, has done a little bit of math to figure out if this is minus one, then we need to move south. Or if this is a, a minus integer, we need to move south. And if it's a positive integer, we need to move north. So it's already done the math. We've checked to see it's a negative. So we're going to be moving south, which means we copy over which direction we're going to be going. So this is the math. If it was positive, it would send 800. If it's negative, it sends 802. Since it's negative, it's 802. And that's being sent over to execution agent A telling this is the direction you're going to need to go. Then it's also going to send this is how many times you need to go in that direction. Now execution agent A knows its its direction and how many times to do it. It saved it in its registers. It is now going to do that. It's going to link on X, subtract one from T, and if it's done moving, it is done moving. Once it knows that it's done moving and it's done its, its east movement and then its north-south movement, it knows it's where it needs to be. So it's going to grab 200, the file that has the information, and it's going to retrieve the name of the store from XB. This is the last piece of information XB is going to pass over. XA is going to be quite pleased to receive this information, but XB is done, so he's done. Uh, XA is going to jump through the uh, the loop here. I guess I could have had this do a skip. Um, I probably could have had this skip. Maybe I'll implement that and see, because I'm checking every number. Meanwhile, I could uh, seek one, two, three, four, five ahead to check the next one. Maybe we'll see if that makes a difference. Uh, but once we find the star we're looking for, uh, we are going to copy the star symbol because we need that. We know that it's always going to have at least one star because you can't have zero stars. Uh, and we're going to copy that into our X so we have the star. And then we're just going to paste that the next four times to turn it from a one star review to a five star review. Then we're done. Easy peasy. So we'll let that run. And we did pretty good. But let's see if uh, removing or adding a seek into our read here makes a significant difference. So we're going to test if f is equal to x, and then hmm, how do we want, how do I want to do this? Seek five. Uh, and then f jump read.
but if uh, we have found it, then I need to go back, which means I need to do a seek. Let's see, what does it look like? I would need to do a seek one, two, three, four, five. I'd have to do a seek minus five afterward just to undo it. I think that'll work. Look at that. Ni nice little improvement. We jumped down on average uh, seven cycles there and got into the, the lower part of the histogram here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we now have a new hit, uh, a new hit uh, convenience store, and I, they, they go on about how it's, it's packed for some reason. It's, it's pretty funny.